Hey everyone, welcome to the New York State Solar Farm Warehouse and in this video we are unboxing the Tesla Powerwall 3. We're really excited, we just got two of them shipped to our warehouse that are gonna be installed on a customer's home in the next two weeks. But before we bring it there, I wanna unbox it and show it to you guys first. It's absolutely freezing outside today. It's like 30 with a crazy wind chill. So what I'm gonna do is get this power wall loaded in the back of the Ford Lightning and bring it to our office and hopefully someone's still there and we will unbox this in the showroom together. Let's go. are stacked this is the way to come so bottom one here top one here but there's plastic straps going around connecting both of them together we're gonna cut those off and just take the top one to the office it'll be a little easier unloading it from the truck So no one was at the office. We got this unloaded. Good thing we did deadlifts this week because these Tesla power walls are such an awkward weight and uh, they're about 300 pounds and this one's a little heavier than the, than the Tesla power wall too and that's because this has an inverter built inside of it as well. So without further ado, let's cut these straps and unbox the Tesla Powerwall 3. All right, so we got the cover off. And you could see uh, the way Tesla has these plastic covers. What's actually cool about this is with these plastic covers that Tesla is shipping these with now, what's awesome for the installers is that they're actually uh, gonna pay to take these back. So they actually, for if you recycle these and send them back to Tesla, they will refund you a hundred dollar credit which is awesome because if you know and other solar installers out there how many pallets do you guys have at your warehouse and what's nice is these actually the whole encasement is you could see the way i got under it with the forks there's no pallet needed for these so that's that's a really nice feature all right so let's check this out so here's the tesla powerwall 3 from a different angle you can see this is the top because you have the switch here. If I zoom in, this says rapid shutdown on and off switch that you have there. The other thing that I'm seeing, and I have to confirm it, but this is the base of the Tesla Powerwall. And I'm assuming like the way they do the uh, gateways with the glass door that it comes disconnected. I'm assuming that this is the same thing. So let's cut this uh, cardboard box on top, which a door for the Powerwall 3. And yes, 
it's exactly that. You can see the Tesla logo right here. And I'll stand it up so we can check it out. There it is. The door to the Tesla Powerwall 3. And you can see it's glass, these metal hinges on the back. And it's clear through here. Let me back up a little bit. You can see it's clear through the Tesla logo, which I'm assuming that that logo lights up. Because on the Powerwall 2, actually the side of the power wall lit up with a green light. So it looks like our Tesla logo right in the center of this lights up. One thing I did notice with that glass door is it's very fragile and our installers are gonna have to take extra care of that door when I'm packaging it and installing it. But that's why Tesla has it in this brown self-contained box on the top of the Powerwall 3. So we'll close this up because I'm gonna have to repackage this since this is getting installed at one of our customers' homes. And now I'm gonna move this and under this should be all the guts of the unit, which I'm pretty psyched if we're able to actually see inside, uh, not only where the inverter is, but also the other components. Wow. This thing is something else. Look at the craftsmanship and quality of that unit. Wow, as I'm looking at this unit, I'm just blown away by my first, just by first glance looking at it. I mean, just seeing the heat sink that's on top of this unit, which I'm assuming all the batteries are behind this, which obviously they all would be. And then seeing the top of the unit where the inverter is, let me show you guys. So here it is. You can see here, this is the top of the Tesla Powerwall here, the bottom here, the back side is getting mounted to the wall here. see the thickness of it. It's also pretty wild with this unit is that it could go in water up to two and a half feet. If you look at one of the demos that Tesla did, they actually have this powering a home in two and a half feet of water, which is absolutely insane. But what I want to try to see is where the inverter is on the top and where the 12 maximum power point trackers are. So let's see if we could check that out together. You could see here, here are the knockouts. This is where we'll bring our uh, THHN from the roof where our panels, solar panels will be connected. So right here looks to be our maximum power point trackers where the strings of the PV system, of the solar, the strings of the solar panels get plugged into. Let me uh, show you a little closer. So I made a mistake before. I said 12 maximum power point trackers, which is how many strings that you could put into this. It's not 12, it's actually six which six is amazing because in a typical inverter, it's usually two or three. So check this out. That's where the strings get plugged into. You can see positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And that's our 
six MPPTs there for the solar, so that's where those go into. So you can see the inside guts of it here. This is where the Tesla logo looks like this lines up directly with that right there. And you could see here, turn off power switch before wiring. So our engineers and designers spent about two weeks getting familiar with designing systems with the Powerwall 3. And Chris and Brett, our designers, can't wait to have Chris up here and check this out, get his hands on it. Because when it's time to install this one, we're all gonna go to the job site together, check it out, because it's a completely new system uh, when we're not using microinverters. We're using a Tesla Powerwall, and the inverters are in the Tesla Powerwall, and on the roof, we use these connectors. They're called MCI, mid-current interrupters, which is what makes this um, qualify for rapid shutdown. Uh, that's the rapid shutdown unit, those MCIs. You can see here, these are, you could unscrew these, go lower, go higher. Those sit on the floor uh, when you have it mounted to the wall. And these are just touching the floor here. One thing that, as I'm looking at this unit, the way they always talk about their cars, the Tesla Model Y and the Cybertruck, the way they're casting uh, the frames of those vehicles, I can't help but think they use that same tech on the Powerwall 3 because as I look at this unit, look at the way the frame of this Powerwall 3 it all looks like a unibody all casted together. Look at the casting, just all one piece. So after feeling the weight of this unit and being by myself here in the office, and I really don't want to damage this Powerwall 3, what I'm gonna do is put the uh, glass door on the front of it so we can get a visual of what this looks like uh, when it's all put together. If that doesn't look amazing, I don't know what to tell you, but just seeing it right now for the first time with the door on the front, I'm pretty blown away by this unit. Let me take the camera off the tripod so you can get a better visual of the side view and what this looks like. All right, just some initial thoughts after looking at the Tesla Powerwall 3 live in the flash. The casting of this unit is unbelievable. You could see that some of the tech from the cars is in the Powerwall 3. The other thing is it's beefier. You could see it's wider than the Tesla Powerwall 2. You could see that right out of the gate. Um, also fragile, the front door is all glass. That whole front piece is just a beautiful piece of white glass. So installing this, definitely gonna have to be careful with, with, this, uh, with this door and keep that to the side when we're installing these. But again, that's why Tesla had it wrapped in that box. And the shipping and receiving of these, I know that's a stupid thing to say, but when we got Tesla Powerwall 2s, I mean, these were in, cardboard box, massive cardboard boxes that were so hard to get rid of when we're at a customer's home, we're getting all those boxes, we're filling up the sprinter vans. Having these plastic containers that we could just ship back to Tesla and Tesla refunds them for $100 is, is pretty awesome. It's just little details like that that separate Tesla from the rest of the competition as well as just Technically, this thing is just a beast and performs 
better than anything I've seen on the market. And that's why we stick with the Tesla Powerwalls is because no one is making anything in this weight class. I mean, pound for pound, one of these units now could back up an entire home. And that's something that we couldn't do before with the Tesla Powerwall too. We needed two of them to back up a whole home. Now with one of these, we have full home backup. That doesn't mean that it's gonna power your home forever. The gas tank, I use this analogy because the gas tank is still the same size as the Powerwall too. It's still 13.5 kilowatt hours, but the engine could power the whole home. It's just gonna blow through all that gas a lot quicker. Hopefully this video was helpful, giving you a little behind the scenes of the Powerwall 3. And if you're interested in solar and battery storage for your home, we're located right here in the Hudson Valley. You could reach out to us in one of the links below in the description. And thanks so much for watching. And if this video is helpful, uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching.